Radiant Team Ban. Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to the Feng Yang Dota 2 battle. I believe this is the round of eight of this competition and it's Tong Fu versus Speed. This Five game was rescheduled three. and apparently that means that we get like 20 minutes notice that the game is starting. So I'm basically here providing coverage on behalf die. of Beyond the Summit. It's great to be joining all of you guys this Radiant afternoon for this match. It's a match that I was anticipating a lot. I was really looking forward to watching last night. So yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, Lysander again, as I mentioned before we jumped in, should be here covering um, but we had such short notice, somebody just had to had to jump in and Ten do it, so remaining. here we are. Speed Gaming going to start off with a ban on Rubik, Tongfu going to start off with, with a ban on Alchemist. Uh, there are probably going to be a couple of little spikes on the stream Is here and there, guys, and the quality won't be as good as you're probably used to, but again, we got to make do with what we have, um, unfortunately. So, let's get ourselves underway. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly double check exactly Tom where we are, what the implications are. Uh, for anybody wondering what the rest of the schedule is for today. Uh, so we've got this best of three, and then in something like six hours, we have IG versus Titan. So there is going to be a bit of a break between this best Ten of three and remaining. the next one. They've probably had to work with the teams to find times that Five suit them, remaining. as opposed to... Uh, working with the casters and things like that because I think they can't extend the tournament out It still needs to end uh, on the same day that it was was planned to end on which I believe is the 28th. So Let's very quickly check out where we are exactly uh, So we are indeed in the round of eight the top half of the round of eight has already been played uh, And this is obviously the bottom half of that round of eight So DK, DK versus LGD China is going to be somewhere down the line uh, that might actually be played tonight in fact I would have to uh, double check the schedule again a lot of this is a little bit disorganized guys so let's get ourselves underway we're gonna have the next assassin banned out by speed OD removed from the pool by Tongfu Marana is gonna make it through uh, and I do believe that speed gaming actually first pick it from time to time most I get would guess notably clockworks made it through bristlebacks made it through Timbersaws made it through visage has also made it through so speed gaming uh, I think plenty of their favorites have made Ten it through to this first pick, remaining. and we'll have to see what they're prioritizing here. Five seconds remaining. And are just gonna end up. They're just gonna end up going for the Visage first. Turn to pick. So this is gonna be probably a little bit more casual, guys. Uh, as I try and troubleshoot issues and get on top of what exactly is is going on, but at the very least there is a there is a stream up. So Tongfu, they've been having some problems recently. They've switched over to Mu drafting. Uh, so Zhou seems to have stepped down from that captaincy spot. They've remaining. struggled a little bit so far in this competition as well. Uh, I was just casting Five them obviously the other remaining. day with Mott, and they did end up dropping a game to For Love, which is Tong just interesting. Tongfu is a team, I would pick. say, that they often pick up games uh, against teams that they're not really expected to, and then, well, I guess they also end up dropping games against teams that they're not really expected to. So they're just going to pick up the clockwork here, uh, and we'll see what Mu has in store as far as the draft is concerned. They've been playing pretty much the same style for the last couple of weeks. Uh, and I guess the one game that, the, in that series that Tongfu did drop a game against For Love, that was game one, they had Zhou drafting, uh, they picked a lone druid strategy, which is frankly a little bit outdated, they got aggressively trialing against and uh, lost the game very, very quickly. And then the final two games, game two and game three, uh, ended up turning into Reserve a little bit of a slugfest, and they were actually great games if anybody wants to go, go, go back and watch them, though they... Um, uh, though they were, though there were some mistakes from both sides in, in both times, you know, in both games. So, Tongfu, what else do they want here? There, there are so many strong heroes in the pool at this point. I'm honestly really surprised to see the Rubik ban uh, from Speed Gaming. We've been seeing a lot of Rubik over the course of this competition and over the course of the last couple of weeks, but Radiant um, team pick. nobody's really considered him ban-worthy. So, Speed Gaming bucking the trend. Uh, a little bit there, and Tongfu just going to pick up the Storm Spirit. I'm a bit surprised to see such an early Storm Spirit pick up. This might get something like a Life Stealer ban out of Speed Gaming, um, so we'll have to see. But it does give them plenty of opportunities to counterpick, and 
they've still got space to pick up, Ten say, Eternal Envy's remaining. Doom if they want to. Um, definitely plenty of options Five to try and deal with remaining. the pesky storm, though. Mo, great storm spirit yeah. player. We shall have to see uh, how Radiant it goes for him. And Speed back. Gaming still just sticking to their guns. They've got the Visage for AUI. Uh, we'll be able to pick up the Marana for Sing Sing as well. And it's always a pleasure to watch Sing Sing play Marana, so definitely looking forward to that. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. So Chen is going to be the ban, targeting ZSMJ a little bit there. Speed, no, Tong Fu. What are they going to get rid of? I do think they need to protect the Storm Spirit a little bit, uh, if at all possible. So maybe get rid of the Doom. Uh, maybe get rid of some hard lockdown. Right now there isn't, well, there's no instant stuns to deal with the Storm Spirit, so he's Five still pretty happy remaining. with the way that things are are playing out. And the Nyx Assassin as well has also been banned, which Bone7 is apt to play uh, on the offlane, so I guess a little bit more safety for Mu there, but just going to end up getting rid of the Shadow Demon and calling it a day so far. There's still the Bane in the pool, obviously. Uh, if Tong Fu were looking to pick up the Lifestealer to run some Lifestealer bombs, we wouldn't be too surprised to see him banned out. Ten as well, remaining. though, again, Lifestealer, another one of those heroes where you have to do a Five lot of groundwork to remaining. really make him super viable. I think you have to get rid of... A until it's later on in the draft, you have to start considering getting rid of Tom Razor, Hughes getting rid of Bane, um, getting rid of XYZ hero. And even if you if you have a solo Cornakes by itself, even if it's not being hard countered, it can often fall off a little bit against uh, Duo Core or Tri Core strategies. So, Speed Gaming are actually just going to straight out ban the Lifestealer, Tong Fu. What are they going to get rid of here? I honestly haven't watched as much Five of Speed remaining. Gaming as I would like. Uh, of course, this is actually a bit of a rematch from the G League 2013 Reserve playoff um, portion of the competition where Tong Fu did actually manage to knock Speed out of the tournament uh, right as they were about to. I think that was the game that determined who advanced into top four um, and the rest of that top four is actually going to be played out in a couple of days time I believe starting on the 30th but yeah this is this might be a little bit of a grudge match for speed oh and my audio doesn't seem to be broadcasting in the clients let's fix that uh, it should now be working in client if someone could please confirm that for me in two minutes time uh, that would be great So, actually, just going to end up being the Elder Titan ban. I'm not sure if Speed Gaming run a lot of Timber Saw. Not the best against Clockwork uh, and Storm Spirit, admittedly, so might not see it picked up here. As far as other offlaners are concerned, what have we got? There's still Bounty Hunter. Uh, and honestly, these days, you can pretty much run whatever you feel you need to uh, on the offlane. And Tongfu are actually going to be the ones to pick up the Bane themselves. So preventing Speed Gaming getting their hands on it for some Bane Marana combos, and uh, I'm not sure if Speed necessarily would have taken it. Bane plus Visage is a pretty greedy support duo. Both of them really, really want their level 6. Both of them are pretty awful at ganking at level 1, level 2. So, yeah. Ten but Tong is still looking for their carry, still looking for their secondary support, probably looking at something a little bit less Five greedy for their second support, honestly, though it'll likely just be reacting to whatever speed gaming pickup. There's Reserve still a lot time. of strong supports in the pool if you want to look for a combo with the Bane. Still a Shrax, still Lina. I uh, still, of course, got Crystal Maiden there as well, uh, who was, your, was a premium support for a very long time, received a very minor nerf recently, but seems like she's just been falling out of favor. Um, and in exchange, we've seen Rubik making his rise, again, as I commented on a little bit earlier. So, Speed Gaming, what are we looking at here? So, I still don't have a lot of hard lockdown for the Storm Spirit. Um, and they don't really have a setup support or a setup hero just yet either, so they're probably not looking at the Lino or the Lashrak, anything like that. Um, Ventral Spirit, maybe, is still a strong option. Swap's always great, and just having a solid stun to start off on the Storm might start moving him towards a BKB, which does, you know, reduce his overall damage output just a little bit. But speed actually digging pretty deep into their reserve time already. Tongfu have already chewed their way down to 13 seconds, so they've really been considering uh, how the draft plays out from this point forward. 
And thanks guys for confirming the audio is now working in client. Disruptor. Tom Fu's turn to pick. Radiant team pick. And Tong Fu actually going to end up going for the Gyrocopter here. Speed Gaming pick up a Disruptor. Okay. So. A hero. Okay. My stance on Disruptor. A hero that I've Ten wanted to see more remaining. of. Uh, the one team that picked it a lot was For Love. I guess the Five team that just played Tong Fu fairly recently. It's going to be good against the Storm Spirit. Uh, Static Storm is fantastic. Glimpse is great against Clockwork as well. And Speed Tom Gaming Fu's also going to pick up that Doom. Bad. So that's going to be Eternal Envy's hero. Uh, Disruptor in general, I think he's maybe a little bit undervalued, but the problem is is that you need quite a bit of practice on him, uh, both as a player and as a as a team to really get the full potential out of him. Uh, Glimpse is also going to be great this game because it gives you a really long range way to consistently interrupt Fiend script. Remaining. So also nice. Even if you just end up putting the Bane exactly back to where he was, uh, then it's it's Radiant still going to interrupt it. Back. So nice little pick up there for speed, I think. Uh, is a fairly level dependent support, so we'll see how things work out with him and the Visage, who's going to get levels. Maybe Speed will be able to shuffle the Doom into the jungle for a little bit after he safe lanes for a while and give some levels to the seconds, Visage, really? but that'll probably happen around the, the 10 minute mark, we'll have to see. Tong Fu's turn to pick. And... Timbersaw is going to be the ban, Tong Fu just getting rid of another standard offlaner, though again the Bounty Hunter is still in the pool, and Speed Gaming, uh, they've got options, probably can't run an aggressive trial in at this point, though Tong Fu, depending on how greedy they go with this last pickup, it could still be an option, it's just going to be the Crystal Maiden ban for Speed, so, Ten seconds remaining. anticipating that Tong Fu would like to have someone like a Crystal Maiden to Five make a little bit of extra remaining. space for the Bane to grab that fast 6, but... Uh, we'll see what Tongfu end up going for in Reserve just a time. second here. They might want to try and gank Ten them around a little bit more heavily, uh, in which case, again, we might be looking towards something like the Lino with the Lashrak Five here. Seconds remaining. And it's actually going to be Silencer, so... I don't think that changes the priority at all. I think Silencer is just going to be your... probably your five position support. Uh, Global Silence should hopefully be pretty useful this game. Um, but not your most, no, not your typical support, and Tong Fu snatched that up with only one second remaining on their reserve time as well. Speed Gaming, a little bit more comfortable. They've still got 40 seconds left to Ten make this final selection, remaining. and just needs to be whatever Bone 7 is going to be playing Five on the offlane. So, we'll see what they grab for him. Reserve time. Uh, I guess the one thing that they are lacking a little bit is initiation. They don't have anybody that might be able to jump the silencer. I guess you can start looking at someone like Bat here. If you want to maybe jungle the Bat uh, or offlane the Bat, you could jump in, grab the Storm Spirit, jump in, grab the silencer, uh, and then could be an alright way to start off a fight. He's not a very popular hero these days, I think largely because of his reduced jungle potential, but speed gaming, they also dig deep, but they just end up finding the just end up finding the Bouncy Hunter. So, I think pretty comfortable lineups for both sides. A lot of people on their signature heroes. Mu on his Storm Spirit, Sing Sing on his Mirana. Uh, we'll see who's going to be playing the Disruptor. I would guess it's just going to be Pai Lai Dai. And yeah, just hand on the Silencer. But we'll do introductions again in just a second, guys. Um, there are a couple of spikes here and there on the stream. I apologize for that, but there's nothing I can do. Uh, again, this is super. This is super impromptu. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Okay, so hello everybody and welcome back to the Feng Yang Dota 2 battle. This is game one of the best of three, Speed Gaming versus Tong Fu. 
Uh, it is single elimination, of course, until you get to the semifinals, so this best of three is do or die for each team. This game was, of course, rescheduled from last night because the Perfect World servers were down, and that's why we started at a fairly odd time. But it looks like Pala died just having some issues with his keyboard, and we'll be unpaused in a second. So very quickly, and base skip, guys, I'm going to provide co I'm providing coverage on behalf of Beyond the Summit. It's great to be joining you guys for this game. I was really looking forward to watching this match anyway, so... Casting it is just a bonus. So over on Tong Fu, we're gonna have Kabu handling the clockwork. We're gonna have Zhou on the gyrocopter. Mu will be your storm spirit. San Cheng on the silencer, and we've got Bane being played by ZSMJ. Meanwhile, over on Speed Gaming, Sing Sing is gonna be on Marana. Pai Lai Dai on the disruptor. Bone Seven on Bounty Hunter. AOI Two Thousand on the Visage, and EE -E on his I would say signature Doom uh, at this point. So. Not sure if that's a jungle build. The typical jungle build these days does seem to be single tango into bottle rush. So we'll see what he's up to here. Uh, I do think it's just going to be safe lane, probably off lane bounty and Marana heading towards mid. Sing Sing's been pulled up a little bit. Probably the same story for Mu once we get unpaused here. But it looks like Tongfu want to make an aggressive move down into the radiant jungle uh, to start off this game. Uh, and they've actually got some dust picked up already onto this MJ, so just anticipating the offlane Bounty Hunter. They don't necessarily have the best aggressive tri lane, and I don't think you want to go aggressive into into the Visage. And Disruptor's now actually a little bit better in tri lane versus tri lane than he used to be, now that he actually has a little bit of damage to contribute uh, with the buff to Thunderstrike. So Speed Gaming, yeah, a little bit dangerously, are going to be moving three heroes down towards the bottom lane right now. Tongfu have brought four down, Mu is actually just gonna head straight over towards mid and pings go out from Tongfu on the ward but uh, I doubt that speed gaming have, have spotted this and this is very very unlikely to be de-warded. The typical spots that you'd be looking for around here, maybe around here, maybe if you place a sentry somewhere over here uh, might be able to spot it but for the most part I don't think speed are gonna be able to get their hands on that one. Uh, and speed actually no sentries picked up um, AUI, not sure what he's working towards here. He's got 250, well, 216 gold banked up from his starting gold, so maybe he'll... Maybe he'll pick up some sentries or something like that. More pings on wards. Tongfu have managed to spot out this lane ward here already. Uh, and I guess the other thing to talk about with the Disruptor is that you need... You and your other support both need to be planning ahead as far as warding is concerned. You really want to have wards in places where enemies are going to be retreating so you can get those clutch glimpses off, so you can get those kills, and this kind of lane ward is exactly what you're exactly what you're talking about there. If the clockwork gets out of position and he's still within vision to be glimpsed, then back he goes to a very easy kill. Bone7's already been trapped up on top lane. He's going to be dusted up and finished off with one more right click. Is that SMJ going to draw that first blood, so... So bringing dust up, definitely paying dividends there. AUI just going to throw out some harassment down on the bottom lane. Uh, backed up by a Thunderstrike. He's picked up that zero minute haste rune uh, as well, but... EE starts off in the jungle, support's going to grab a little bit of experience in lane. Uh, that looks like he's still going to be swinging across. Did actually manage to find a troll, so maybe a little bit of lockdown going to help uh, in killing the clockwork and... Sunshine actually just going to be TPing bottom lane. And it looks like to deal with this, to deal with this pesky lane ward. So 50 gold on its way for Kabu. Checking in on mid, Mu has been arrowed. He is leading pretty heavily in terms of CS so far. Uh, six and O up against Sing Sing's three to nil. But both of them are chewing through their region really heavily. Sing Sing still has his salve, uh, and aside from that, pretty much just the one tango left for either side. And Sunshine also going to come in and just block out the pull camp as well. So it's going to restrict Speed Gaming's farm a little bit. Cobbler just going to soak some experience over in the trees. It should definitely be an interesting game. I think Sunshine just probably going to leave bottom lane now. Uh, they could continue to do a lane, I guess, just to try and steal more experience from the pulls and continue soaking it up. It depends on how much they think they can do about Bone 7 on top. He's been spotted. It's going to get Nightmare. The dust is going to be set up. They've got two points in Rocket Barrage as well. They even start the homing missile just to make sure that they get this kill. Uh, but do they I even need it? No. A couple more right clicks are going to finish him off. But bit of an interesting build from Joe. 100% focused on just camping Bone 7 out of the game. And yeah, for anybody wondering the 
light blue abomination on your screen. It's just the stream overlay that we've been that we've been provided with. So I, I've seen a couple of comments in chat over the course of the last couple of days when I was when I was co-casting. But uh, Silencer is actually just going to be staying bottom lane. Um, I'm not sure what he's really doing here. He feels like he's just another liability, but I guess there isn't much more or well, much else to be done on top. So Sunshine's just trying to find a sp just trying to find some space to grab a couple of levels here and there. AOI actually going to pick up some sentries, uh, and he's looking for the D ward, but this sentry ward's jammed in the trees. They should be able to tango in and grab it. Uh, they've also grabbed another sentry, but as expected, they've they've kind of tried to target this ward and this ward down here, and won't be able to find this lane ward, which is actually a little bit a little bit cheeky. This bounty is not for you. Meanwhile, over on mid, looks like both bottles coming out. Moo going to throw down some more harassment on Sing Sing, as they're both standing right on top of the creep wave, and I think both bottles about to be delivered at pretty much the exact same time. Sing Sing's already actually run one bottle crow. Uh, it's heading back to base at the moment, and Bone makes his way mid, already two points up in the Shadow Walk. Moo's still fairly healthy, but not quite level 6, so maybe an opportunity for a kill here. Three points up in the Star Storm for Sing Sing. And just another pull being run bottom lane, Kabu doing his best to be a nuisance. Does have his boots up already uh, as well. Haste. And just gonna be the just gonna be the foreman to earn camped up by the silencer. So Moo pushes the wave a little bit too aggressively for Bone to be able to do anything. Top lane's already called, well more than likely already called these missing. That's kind of why ZSMJ is just running pulls as opposed to trying to sit in lane and find the bounty hunter and harass him out. Uh, and Silencer's actually gonna swing in mid, try and grab a little <laughs> bit of farm. He needs to be careful though, he's only level two. Uh, and they're just going to wait for this haste to wear out and then probably kill him. So slow down by the Janata. Sing Sing's going to come in. Already an orb of venom on bone 7. Leap into an arrow. And Starstorm's going to finish it off. So while Moo was playing with the appropriate level of caution for the bounty hunter being missin missing, uh, Sunshine ends up not quite being cautious enough. Looks like EE is going to be going for a fairly supporty build here. Uh, just picking up some arcane boots to start things off. So. Not too well, not too far outside of speed gaming's usual style. They're kind of pushing their one position hero down a little bit so that everybody else can get a little bit more. So they're going to be giving some more levels to the Visage, some more levels to the Disruptor, and Pile I Die, kind of just going fortified. your standard build. A couple of points picked up in Glimpse so far. As far as who is leading at the moment, it is a minor lead in terms of gold and experience in favor of Tongfu, but we haven't really seen too much going on uh, just yet. Mid lane, Mu is still leading Sing Sing by about 10 CS, so ours. doing very well on his storm here. And well, Kabu's only level 3, Sanchong only level 2, well now only reaching level 3. So a lot of low level heroes kind of meandering around the map right now. Uh, Zhou's already picked up his Bassi, he's leaving it on, and Tongfu making a bid for this tier 1 tower up on top lane. Is anybody over on speed gaming carrying TPs? Nope. So nobody's going to be responding to this. It's just up to Bone to see if he can if he can try and deny it. It's not quite in deny range just yet. Still just 2 HP out. Uh, and even Moo going to be making his way topside to try and get the tower and pick up this kill here. Radiance but top tower Bone just playing fallen. a bit too defensively for that to happen. Dyer's so. middle tower is under attack. But Tongfu, are they done? Are they just maybe going to go for two? I think they want a little bit of a reaction out of someone over on Speed Gaming, though. For the time being, that's exactly not what they're getting. EE -E backs off. He's actually going to end up picking up a smoke here. So it looks like first Doom Gank may be on its way, teaming up with uh, the Bounty Hunter. He's actually managed to grab some really good levels now, uh, just about to reach level six. So... After he farms a couple of waves, expect Bone to maybe start moving around. And Tongfu really do need to pull this wave back away from the tower, just so that Bone can't sit here static farming it uh, all day long. They probably deliberately pushed it into the tower, just to try and to get, get it to bounce off and move a little bit further up the lane. If you just leave the creep wave here, a good player can keep it here uh, forever until you until you actually actively pull it back. So. Yeah, he's just going to turn off his Bassi and probably just try and pull this back into safe territory. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Envy, already on the hunt. He's got this smoke picked up. 
is teaming up with Pylai Dai, and Dyer's let's see they're going to be able to find. Looks like Mu is going to be the target over on mid. Arrow flies in, but not going to end up landing. Mu looks like he's a bit suspicious uh, of all of these heroes missing off the map, the fact that the Doom isn't around, but Moonlight Shadow's going to lead this, and Mu, is he suspicious enough of what's going on here? EE -E actually going to go all the way around, Pylai Dai as well up onto the cliff. They just need to get in range for the Doom. They get it down. They will be able to glimpse him back as well, but not even needed. Sing Sing jams the arrow and Speed Gaming pick up. A pretty expensive kill time-wise, but still definitely worth it to keep this Storm Spirit down. And Sing Sing, because of the threat of a gank on Mu, Mu's actually fallen behind a little. Sing Sing's been able to catch up a little bit uh, in terms of overall farm, and Sing Sing throws the arrow. Just a little bit off the mark, however, and Sunshine has actually been able to grab some boots at, at long last on his silencer. Kabu, how's he doing? Bot, not quite level 6. This is the downside of having that silencer soaking experience bottom lane. He's not quite 6 and can't quite participate in what's going on around the map just yet. And Speed Gaming, taking advantage of it. Gonna look for this tier 1 tower on mid. Mu rolls in. In comes the Rocket Flare as well from bottom lane. EE very low. Glimpse is gonna be going out on Joe. Sends him back up to top lane, but they still pick up the kill regardless. Uh, Mu gonna eat some damage from the DD on Sing Sing, who ducks into the trees, looks towards the silencer, might just be able to run in Starstorm Leap and kill him. Yeah, gets the second star. Mu does drag him back into tower range. There's gonna be enough damage to finish him off. No, he turns around, drops the arrow, bone seven, will be able to grab the kill on Mu, but ZSMJ comes in from the side. Picks up one with the Brain Sap, grips up Bone 7, and will finish him as well. Double kill for the Bane, very quickly reaches level 8. So, right place, right time for the SMJ, and maybe a little bit over aggressive there uh, from speed. As they end up trading 3 for 2 at the end of the day there, they lost all 3, they got the Storm Spirit, uh, though they did also manage to get the, get the silencer. Radiance middle so, tower is under a little attack. bit of a kill lead after that in favor of Tongfu, Envy just working towards a mech, so still, again, still kind of the support-ish doom. They're letting AUI actually get some really good farm down on bottom lane. He's about to reach his level 6. This is not too atypical of speed, honestly. Again, sort of sacrificing the one position, what would traditional be your one position to get a little bit more farm up somewhere else. Bone's gonna jump on Kabu, but Mu's gonna jump on top of EE, the f well, top of AUI. Familiar drops on point. Kabu, however, is still gonna keep on focusing on Bone, and Kabu, will he be finished off by the birds? No, they're just gonna be flown over the top and away. So, beautiful counter gank from Tong Fu. So does MJ and Mu popping in out of nowhere uh, and bringing that kill lead up to four at this point. Pylai Da is still trying to grab some levels over on mid. Uh, and we've actually got Joe's, yeah, Joe's Hellbear throwing down some claps over at the mid lane. And Speed Gaming actually just going to continue pressuring this mid tower. Some nice stuns go down. Kabu a little bit low on, a well, little bit low on life, a little bit low on mana. They still want this tower. The Kabu will be able to snag this in that. So Tongfu have just been playing really well so far. They've counter gank. Well, they've got two big counter ganks off both mid. And bottom lane, they've managed to get the deny down as well, and Speed Gaming invested a lot of time to mid lane to be able to pick that one up as well. Uh, for the most part, they're still just trying to roam around the map. Bones trying to set up some track kills. Uh, Sing Sing might become a little bit more mobile now as well. Heads up onto the cliff. He's looking at Sunshung. Arrow to fly, but just a bit off the mark. There's no ward up there or anything, but I think Sing Sing might have been spotted moving up, or it was just a little bit suspicious that he wasn't there. Got another grip up for the SMJ. Surprisingly enough, he's actually maxed out Nightmare uh, instead of getting any points whatsoever in Enfeeble. So it looks like the plan is to actually use Nightmare as a disable and keep somebody locked out of a fight uh, for a fairly long time. Th th I would say that this is a little bit out of the ordinary. Most people would leave one point in Nightmare uh, and max out the Enfeeble. But I guess the n uh, it's not that nice for Tongfu just because they do have a lot of incidental AoE damage. But Arrow's gonna connect over on mid, and Sunshine will be brought down. Seeing stars, Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Did they have familiar stuns to set that up? No.
Yeah, sorry guys, it's an Australian stream, I'm streaming to US West, it's not the best. I tried the Singapore server, but it was even worse. Normally it's much more stable, but during the day just having some problems. Joe is in a bit of trouble right now. Familiar is gonna come in, second stun on its way. They're gonna drop the Static Storm as well, Moo rolls in, nice. Well, they've already thrown down a nice Gyrocopter ultimate, ends up being one for one so far. Can they find anybody else? Moo's gonna be doomed up by EE. Hookshot comes in from Kabu. Arrow a little bit off the mark, so it looks like Moo should maybe be able to run away from this. The familiars are coming in as well. Track goes out onto Kabu. He got a TP, but I think no chance of being able to use it. A little bit further down, Moo is actually still on the run and will be able to TP out. Yeah, I'm dropping frames like a madman, guys. So, checking in on our game status after that, we're actually swinging pretty much back towards even. Uh, just 500 gold in it, 500 experience in it right now. Drum gonna be picked up for Bone. So, given that he died back to back pretty much at the start of the game over on top, uh, he has actually recovered really well. Part of that was the decision from Tongfu to push down that tier 1, uh, which did get him back into the game a little bit in terms of experience, but I think still props the Bone for what he's done so far. EE, -E, despite. What I said, that you know, speed attack. gaming have kind of pushed him down a little bit in terms of farm priority to give space for everybody else. He's still only 200 gold behind the gyrocopter right now. So it looks like this slightly more active style of Doom, moving around with the bounty hunter and farming the jungle, doesn't really impact his farm too much. And like I was talking about, it's really made a lot of space for AUI to be able to grab some levels. And up to level 7, he's got his, me medall he's got his medallion, got his familiars. Uh, he's pretty happy with his lot in life right now. So smj has got another grip up and ready to go. He's in fact almost got a mech. Moonlight Shadow to pop. Speed Gaming. Moving five heroes aggressively up into the dire jungle. Who will they be, will they be able to find first? Moose leading the way right now. There's still a Doom. It's going to be thrown out. Sunshine gets hit by the arrow. Will he be able to drop the Global Silence? Not quite. Moo to be brought down by one more right click. And Kabu tries to TP in but gets immediately glimpsed back to bottom lane. And two more heroes on top lane from Tong Fu. A little bit trapped. So SMJ, he's got a TP scroll. Hasn't used it just yet. I think he's been spotted Sing Sing with the arrow. It is going to end up finding him. And so does SMJ, I think he probably should have TP'd out with the gyrocopter. Uh, looks like it's just going to end up being another kill. And a huge track kill for speed a gaming at that. Tower is there used to be a spectator glitch where it would show TP scrolls as off cooldown even though they weren't, but I believe that's Dyer's been fixed, so uh, I'm not sure what was Radiant's going on for ZSMJ there, but Speed Gaming, huge gank, three kills, and the tier 1 tower to be picked up. I think two, at the very least, two track kills Dyer's going out there as well. Has fallen. And just give me a sec, guys. I'll see if there's anything I can do about the about the choppy stream. Um, I'm actually considering just restarting it really quickly and seeing if that if that helps out a little bit. It it might, in fact. So. Um, yeah, it it doesn't seem great. So I'm actually, guys. I'm going to restart the stream very quickly. It'll be back in just a few seconds. You will have to refresh the stream page more than likely to get it back, so hopefully that'll help. There's no delay, so you won't have to wait two minutes or or anything like that. So I'll be back in just a moment, guys. Down towards bot. Are fortified. Uh, they're going to pop a glyph a little bit unnecessarily. And really hoping to find somebody here. They do have a global silence up. Didn't manage to get that off in the last fight. There's still a doom, however. They have to focus down EE -E before he can drop anything. Static Storm is being used. He survives because of the mech. The global silence is used. But he's still just going to be able to drum away. EE -E survives. Moo's going to keep on moving in. Pylai die. The new focus. But Kabu in some trouble. Doom going to go out onto the gyrocopter. There's a glimpse as well. ZSMJ. That's going to cancel his grip. Moo on the run. He's been tracked up and Tongfu, a disaster. They use the Global Silence and they actually end up losing too, not even able to deny the Gyrocopter. And Speed Gaming, back at it. Another tier one tower to fall bottom lane. This is a huge momentum swing in their favor. Golden Experience continue to rack up and Tongfu, they've got nothing left for this next team fight. They've got no grip, 
they've got no global silence. I'm not even sure if they should be able to... I'm not even sure if they're going to try and take this. They've attempted a little bit of a stack over to the side, but uh, it's not really all that much there, and Speed Gaming, if they spot it, could just clear it out themselves. I'm, I'm sorry about the lag issues, guys. Like, normally I would have had a little bit more time to, to prep and work out what was what was going on, but unfortunately this this time, not... didn't have that opportunity. I literally... From, for those of you who didn't hear what happened, so the game was rescheduled yesterday, uh, and I actually pretty much woke up today, had breakfast, and then they were like, oh, yep, guys, game's starting in, in 20 minutes. Yeah, can anyone be there? And so... I just had to step in. But anyway, let's continue. So, Speed Gaming, leading by three kills. Couple of track kills in there as well, so... 4k gold, 5k gold, 4k experience. Tong Fu, but their back's up against the wall, honestly. Uh, they've got the grip back up in a little bit. Well, they've got the grip back up. Sunshung, 20 seconds away from another Global Silence. He is pretty much just a Global Silence uh, at this point, so while that's down... He's not really doing too much. Joe's almost managed to grab his BKB. What have we got up for Mu? Uh, given what a good start he had to this game, this is not the most timely Orchid. Just the one Oblivion staff up right now and... Speed Gaming just looking for an opening. Pushing into the Tier 2s is of course a little bit more difficult, but... They've got another Moonlight Shadow up, could run another Smoke Gank. Um, though for the moment, looks like they are content to farm. Are they close to anything big? Uh, Envy is working towards maybe an AC. Not actually 100% clear. It's probably going to be the AC. I don't think he has too many mana problems that he needs the Shivas to resolve at this point. Uh, AOI has managed to grab some really good farm, working his way towards an Aghanim Scepter. Pylite Eye is still playing the 5. Not really expecting him to get too much out this game. Uh, it's actually going to be the. It's actually going to end up being the Shivas for Eternal Envy. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's courier has been killed. And Dyer courier ends up being spotted by Bone? Yeah. Okay, jump in on top of EE. Global sound's gonna be used as well, along with the grip. Can they actually focus him down? We'll be able to do so. Kabu jams a three man cog. AUI trapped as well. Nice static storm, but not gonna bring down anybody on Tongfu. Sing Sing lands the arrow, but still no casualties just yet. Stick charge is gonna keep Kabu alive. And Tongfu. Very nicely played. EE expecting to be able to run in gung ho uh, and survive just the same way that he did on bottom lane, but doesn't end up working out and Tongfu get exactly what they needed to get a well, get a foothold back in this game. We've got the BKB, should be finished up for the gyrocopter. It could even be on the courier right now, but it's currently dead. Bone on the hunt. Uh, everybody's a bit too grouped up to do anything. Speed Gaming are going to respawn. They know that the Global Silence is down, so expect them to pretty much just go straight out and maybe try and push down a tier 2. They have actually split up and gone back to lane, so it looks like maybe an item or two uh, on the agenda first. Bone is kind of close to a BKB. Still needs a little bit of farm. AUI one component away from finishing up his Aghanim Scepter, though he's still a fairly low level. But I'm actually a bit surprised that Speed Gaming are giving them the opportunity just to wait for their cooldowns because there's only a minute left on Global, uh, only 20 seconds left on Grip, and Speed maybe just maybe not feeling as confident. Looks like we are going to be moving across and going for a smoke now though. So still another 45 seconds on this Global for them to try and make a move. The line is drawn. Sing Sing's going to be moving in from the side as four heroes move up into the dire Radiant's jungle. Bottom tower is under attack. And Tong Fu. They know that they don't have Global Silence, I think they know that they have to be a little bit cautious. They're just staying grouped up over by Roshan right now. And yeah, re completely refusing to be picked off with Speed Gaming having absolutely nobody on the map. And they do have something to do in the meantime, there's still an Ancient Stack to be cleared out. Uh, 
Alright, so I'm actually gonna pick up a double damage. Top they're moving top, 10 attack. seconds until global, Radiant's Glyph ready to go. And Glyph is gonna Dyer's end up being popped. Nobody wants to TP in lest they immediately be glimpsed back. But Joe looks like no interest whatsoever in actually defending this tier 2. His team moves up, kind of in Dyer's position for the tier 2 mid, but... Uh, Joe actually just wants to sit there and farm. Didn't even have a TP, so he couldn't TP in immediately BKB to stop being glimpsed back. He's just uh, farming up for the moment. And it looks like his BKB is probably on the courier. Again, I can't check because my vision hotkeys are the same as my courier hotkey. But um, it's probably finished. He picks up a demon edge, so doing all right. Envy, another 1.6k gold on top of that Shiva's AOI, 300 away from finishing up his Ags. As far as the graphs are concerned, we've stabilized out at around 5k the lead in favor of the Radiant, though experience has actually swung back down uh, into Tongfu's favor. Yes, guys, I get it. The stream is bad, but the options were nobody is around, there is no stream, or I pop in out of nowhere and do it. So I, I'm, I will apologize profusely for the lag. I'm sorry that I live in Australia. But this is, it was extremely short notice. Um. So Sing Sing's finished up his Manta, Bone, 1800 gold up. Moo, just gonna go and grab an Invis. Does he have his Orchid finished? He does, so. Not the timeliest of orchids for Moo, but it does have three deaths to his name. And it's actually going to be Tongfu, I think, looking to back up and go for a smoke. As far as vision is concerned right now, Speed Gaming's is a little bit lacking since there's been a gem picked up over on the Bane. And checking out on overall item progression, what do we have? We've got a Vitality Booster picked up for EE just to get a little bit more out of all of the armor that he's got. And that's pretty much it as far as new pickups. It looks like Kabu is probably working towards a BKB of his own right now, but... Tongfu moving in for this tier 1 bottom lane. Speed gaming, the pings go out. They're looking for this tier 2 mid. Uh, and Tongfu actually just going to back off. They're looping around. They know that they can't TP anybody in. Uh, just because they're going to be glimpsed back. So, looks like speed gaming with just a little bit of pressure do manage to force Tongfu away. Is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And AOI, do you have that Aghanim Scepter finished? He does. Yeah, Talk for just going to end up denying this tier 2 over at mid. Speed Gaming doing a little bit of their own communal Dyer's jungling right now. Has been denied. And with that tier 2 dead, I guess Tongfu know that they can at least try and pressure bottom lane. They're protecting their own tier tier with this move. That looks like... I don't know if speed can actually threaten high ground. There's no glyph up for Tongfu for a little bit. Yeah, it looks like this tier 1 is just going to be forfeit. Glyph is going to be used, but speed still have AOI all the way over on top lane. And he's actually just going to be double tapping his TP back to base Radiance right now. Bottom tower has fallen. Uh, Sing Sing. He wants the rune, but he doesn't know that there's an Invis Storm Spirit sitting on top of it waiting for him. And Orchid's not going to be used by Mu just yet, since he knows that Sing Sing has a Manta style. Uh, Static Storm's going to be dropped, and that's going to be it. Speed Gaming will be able to disengage. Uh, AUI resummon on the birds coming up in just a second, so they're probably going to be pulled away from top lane uh, just to summon, summon the third bird once he finishes pushing out this wave. Song Fu. Legging it back to top lane right now. Moo's being tracked up, so Speed Gaming do have a pretty good idea of what's going on here, but... Sunshine, a little ways away. Top tower is under attack. Yeah, it looks like both teams, for the moment, just kind of farming. Speed Gaming are definitely in a much better position. They've still got tier 1s, they've still got tier 2s, they still have a bunch of lines of defense. So Tongfu are definitely in a little bit of trouble, though only down by about 6k gold and pretty much nothing in terms of experience right now. Unfortunately, the Bane is unlikely to be able to farm a BKB this game, so Grip is not the biggest thing for them. 
Uh, they pretty much have to perfectly coordinate Global Silence into Grip, otherwise it's just going to be cancelled every single time. So, uh, if the Silencer dies, then the Bane is Incoming. also um, not in the best position. So it might even be worth Speed Gaming focusing on the Silencer, if at all possible. Of course, he can just be sitting back at the Fountain and Global Silence from there, uh, and Speed Gaming don't have the best initiation, but... Are going to pop a Moonlight Shadow and see what they can do. Arrow's going to fly in. The Glimpse goes out. Joe's being doomed as well, but the Kinetic Field doesn't connect. Kabu going to hook in deep. Manages to call Guan, but he's just going to be focused down. Moo's also tracked up and on the run. Not sure about that decision from Kabu. Moo just going to keep on rolling. EE -E continues to chase Joe. This Doom is just about to wear off. They're going to earn him up, though. There is another Glimpse going out. Moo tries to escape. It gets dragged straight back into a static storm. Very nicely played by Palai Dai. And of course, the other thing I guess that I neglected to mention is the combo between having track vision on someone and just being able to glimpse them whenever you want. So, Speed Gaming, nice little pickup. Gonna head into Roshan with their medallion. Uh, and do we have a buyback on the Storm Spirit? No, so Tongfu won't really be able to defend here. There's going to be a call down dropped, but Aegis has already been picked up, and... I don't know, Tongfu moving out, still 11 seconds away from their Storm Spirit respawning. Uh, BKB has been picked up for Bone 7. And Tongfu at this point just hoping to win a defensive team fight and then maybe get something out of it. Checking in on items, what have we got going on? There's a gem up for Pylai Dai as well. Uh, Envy just tanking up for the time being, might even move in towards a heart. Uh, though, we'll see what he does. Sing Sing, what's he got? Another 3k gold on top of his Manta style, so expect another damage item coming up soon. And AUI just tanking up a little bit as well. Uh, snagging a Vitality Booster. Kabu's actually gonna end up picking up a Sanj here instead, so it looks like working in towards a Heaven's Halberd. I really thought that it was gonna be a BKB just to try and deal with being... If he gets a good initiation, he's just going to be glimpsed pretty much immediately. Um, and there is a fair amount of magic damage over on speed as well. And once you have a BKB, you don't care about the Disruptor at all. At least until he gets an Aghanim Scepter. And given that it's a 5 position Disruptor, he's never really going to be able to farm it. So, a eh, little bit interesting from Kabu. Maybe he thinks he just won't be able to farm the BKB uh, before, Boom, there it, go. before speed gaming are, are knocking on their racks. So, AUI doing his usual thing with the Visage Familiars, which is just split push a lane. Uh, he's actually just jungling up at the moment as well. Uh, and looks like Envy is going to be, yeah, Envy is going to be picking up the heart. And Tongfu all just kind of sitting behind their tier 2 bottom lane, but Speed Gaming aren't really investing anything. It's just familiars and a little bit of pressure from Bone, just in case anybody anybody pushes out too far. Sing Sing actually also going to move into position. Envy is still over at mid. He's finished up that heart. And Mu actually just swinging up towards top lane at the same time. So they've spotted Moo top, they know that he doesn't have a BKB, so I guess Moo's best option is to TP into the tier 3 and roll in if they do choose to take this fight. It's a bit of an awkward place to try and take a fight for the Dire, you're moving in through a choke point, speed gaming have a ton of space all through here to be able to use, and it looks like Tongfu are just going to forfeit it in exchange for a little bit of farm, Joe going to do his best to push out mid, he's not actually carrying a TP right now. Which could be a little bit of an oversight if Speed Gaming actually just directly cut across and try and find him. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. And Sing Sing actually just gonna pick up Radiance a Desso. It still needs to be delivered, however. Structures are fortified. Speed Gaming undeterred. Gonna be moving their way up onto the high ground. Tongfu doing their best to defend. Kabu's over in the trees. Arrow to launch, but not gonna connect. And now the stalemate kind of begins. Speed Gaming. 
they do have to deal with their other lanes. So it looks like they are going to end up backing attack. off. There's no Ancient stack here, but Envy's still going to be clearing that one up. Uh, as far as Aegis timing is concerned, we've got about another two minutes left there. So maybe Speed are going to stick around and Radiant's try and go high ground. Pylodai is going to ping out mid lane, but it looks like they're not worried enough. They just want to get value out of this Aegis. Don't want to risk... Um, yeah, don't want to risk it fading just because Tongfu can get some flippish going on, so. Glyph ready for Tongfu. Arrow's gonna launch in five second arrow connect on Joe. He's gonna be nightmared. Global sounds to pop as well. They get the grip off onto EE, but he's just way too tanky. The call gets dropped as well. Beautiful cog from Kabu, but there's just no follow-up damage. The global silence is dispelled. Sing Sing drops low. BKB versus BKB. As Joe continues to try and fight, but it ends up being two down. Speed gaming lose nobody. Envy is going to be able to heal up courtesy of his heart and some urn charges. And this time around, Tongfu have to go without global silence, without fiend's grip. There's a doom on Joe. Mood's going to roll in, gets the drag back, is being focused right now. Does manage to bring down the disruptor. Envy going to keep on chasing in. Still has the Aegis, uses the Shivas. And Sing Sing going to be able to grab that one. Joe is still alive despite being doomed. Nightmare onto Bone 7. Couple more right clicks from Sing Sing. Might be able to finish off the gyrocopter, uses the arrow, just style points for Sing at this point. Mu back into the fight, keeps on rolling, still looking towards Envy, Kabu brought down, Sing Sing gonna be silenced stop, but Mech keeps everybody healthy, speed gaming have only lost two so far, Mu about to go down, Zhou does manage to pick up a double, the gem to be dropped in the trees, and Envy nightmared up, gets released, not by the familiars, but I think by the rocket barrage, Sing Sing actually comes back, gets dragged, Mu is playing out of his mind right now. A little bit low on mana, uh, Envy with no backup, what can he do here? The familiars are actually going to be able to finish off the tower back inside the base, but it looks like Envy is going to end up dropping for the second time this fight. Okay, so Tongfu, they didn't have ultimates, so they had to kind of fill the gap with buybacks and those buybacks aren't really going to get them anywhere aside from holding on to their base. So they are still in a really terrible position, but nicely fought. 15k is the gold lead, 5k experience. Um, Joe is still up there in terms of net worth, but doesn't really matter too much when he pretty much gets straight out doomed every single fight. The gem was found, I would think. Uh, for Tongfu, second gem is probably just sitting back on the courier right now. Uh, the AUI is going to replace that and also pick up his Rod of AUI. So he's doing very well in terms of overall farm. Sing Sing, what's he got? Another 3k on top of that Desolator Roshan. We're going to figure out the respawn time in about a minute and 30 seconds. And Tong Fu just seeing if they can find anything. Zhou is moving towards Rapier for sure. He, this is the do or die play uh, from Gyrocopter at this point. And he's not even hiding it at all. He's like, look, I have I have this I have the sacred relic. I'm gonna walk into the creep wave. You guys know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see if the Hail Mary play is gonna be enough. Speed actually smoke move over the mid lane, a little bit of a suspicious devour. Uh, but I doubt Tongfu would have spotted that. They don't have creeps in the base, but they're gonna go for it anyway. The familiars haven't been split pushing at all. And Speed Gaming feeling confident to just go in and take the racks. They know that if they get these kills, then the game pretty much just ends because the two heroes that just bought back are going to be dead forever. But a bit of a weird play. I mean, a play that Tongfu would not have expected at all, but Tongfu are already suspicious because the lanes are so far pushed out and Speed Gaming didn't do anything about it. So Looks like Speed maybe get a little bit ahead of themselves. Ocean hasn't quite respawned just yet. Couldn't even have potentially respawned just yet. Still another couple seconds, and Tongfu actually go for a smoke of their own. They're moving out. Looks like we're going to have a full 5-on-5 five on, five on our hands. Sing Sing sitting at the front right now. Pylai Dai needs to be careful about his positioning. Tongfu, they throw a ward up onto the high ground. They spot Speed Gaming. Envy sitting at the front. It's just a complete standoff right now. And... Envy? What's he doing? Are they just waiting for Roshan? It's actually a fairly fast respawn. Show gonna do a little bit of ancient farming in the meantime. Still 1.2k gold away from finishing that divine. And... 
Okay, does Speed actually know that they're there? They don't know that they're there, but I think they suspect that they're there. Uh, nobody's on the map. Envy's gonna walk up, he gets immediately gripped, the global silence pops as well, the cooldown's gonna be dropped, the four staff goes onto EE, but it drags him further in to the Tongfu side, the static storm gets dropped, Pylai dive very low, Zhou gonna keep on fighting buyback from the Doom, gonna try and make his way back into this fight, the cooldown collateral damage finishes off the Disruptor. And Tongfu, after an extremely long stalemate, uh, do manage to pick up, do manage to pick up the Doom, Roshan's respawned, and with Global Silence and Grip used, uh, Speed Gaming are actually going to be free to pick up this Roshan. No problem, so... Despite an alright teamfight for Tongfu, 2 for 1 the overall trade, they still end up losing pretty significantly. Uh, Aegis actually in the hands of Sing Sing this time around, he's just going straight damage. Uh, almost as his Daedalus picked up. And how is that Rapier going? Show is very close. At this point, I think you honestly consider going and selling your TP scroll and, and buying it. But yeah, I think that was still pretty heavily in favor of speed. It's still up to Tonkru to try and make some plays to, to break out here. Another minute until Global Silence, 20 seconds until Grip. As the game does drag on, you know, each team fight is more and more likely to have a global silence, as opposed to early game when speed gaming could just take the fight, um, lose it, and then push immediately after. Well, push immediately afterwards because the global silence was down. And we do have the rapier up for Zhou, so if he can get the space to do stuff in these fights, Tong Fu probably still in with a chance. Though speed gaming are going to do everything within their power to beat the living daylights out of him. We've got another. Uh, we've got another Moonlight Shadow ready, Arrow just to scout things out, Joe gonna be TPing back. Still no lanes of racks down, so still could be anyone's game. 14k is the gold lead, still zip in terms of experience. Uh, though unfortunately Clockwork is just super poor. He's still got the Sanj, but he hasn't gone anywhere since, and Kabu is still only level 10. And this is where you have to start questioning a little bit whether or not it was worth the Silencer. Soaking up all of that experience bottom lane, it, it seems to have stunted Kabu a little bit in this game. Do it with flair. Though he is a short little guy to start with anyway. Radiance top tower has been denied. And Tonk for go for a smoke. Could be their last smoke. Oh, last smoke for four minutes could be their last smoke of the game if they lose this fight. And pings go out bottom lane, speed gaming, still just kind of farming for now. Pilot dies, managed to pick up a four staff. Do we have anything else finished? Envy, just working towards some more armor. We do have a hex up for Mu. Arrow flies in, doesn't quite connect um, to this MJ, but... Oh, it looks like the Arrow Vision managed to spot the remnant going down, so speed gaming actually know that they're here. Daedal is going to be picked up for Sing Sing. What buybacks do we have, if any? Not too many relevant ones. Maybe if Sunshine gets focused down, he can buy back and immediately global silence. But Tongfu do kind of give the game away there with that, that remnant drop. Okay, Radiant so. Bottom tower is under attack. We're sort of back to stalemating. Speed gaming still really want to get some use out of this Aegis on Sing Sing. So three minutes left on that one. Tongfu, no more smoke, so probably no more shenanigans, just a little bit of split push and hoping to take a good five man fight inside of their base. And are speed gaming close to finishing anything? Not really. Maybe something like a basher for bone? But that's probably about it. Yeah, so speed just gonna push down bot. Hopefully everybody on Tongfu has a TP scroll. Uh, Tansheng doesn't, but he's already walking back, so... This is probably gonna be the big fight. Speed Gaming could maybe just expend the Aegis to get the racks, uh, and then back off and continue farming, but... I don't know if they want to wait too much longer. Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. Glimpse goes out, sends show a little bit further. Glyph's gonna be popped. They're only sending Envy in with the birds. 
to try and take this Rex right now. Sing Sing's still sitting on the back. He's just gonna actually gonna move up onto the high ground. Mood jumps in. The global silence is used, but they're focusing on EE. He gets four staffed out in the middle of this grip. Sing Sing gonna keep on going to work. Brings down Kabu. Picks up the double as we come out of the global silence. Mu is gonna end up dropping. Sing Sing still alive. Has this age is focusing on the gyrocopter. He's still alive, but he gets glimpsed a long way back into the fight. Brought down. The rapier hits the deck. Picked up by Sing Sing. 1.6k crits. No problems whatsoever. Zhou is going to end up buying back, but straight into an arrow. Couple of right clicks bring him down, and that's going to be the GG call. Is Sing Sing pretty much one shots the poor silencer. Okay, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for game one. I'm going to go see if Lysander, who was supposed to be covering these matches, is around. Otherwise, I'm going to bring the stream down and see if I can fix the lag issues a little bit for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. This is Speed Gaming vs. Tongfu for the Feng Young Dota 2 battle. I've been Basekip. If you want to leave me any feedback on my casting, you can email me at basekipdota at gmail.com. Otherwise, don't forget to support BTS. It's been a pleasure casting for you guys. and let you know what's happening uh, as we move towards game two. So I'll see you then. Well, or maybe not. <laughs>